here we are, guys, up in Pastor Tim's office. It's, uh, it's nicer than my office. I'll tell you that much. Sure. Yeah. Check this out. But anyway, came up here and uh, meeting, talking, trying to fix all the world's problems. We got half of them fixed. Yeah, we got some of them done there. But uh, Tim, it's hard to fit Tim in the frame. I know. So I'll have to sit down. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I gotta put. Him, I gotta raise the camera up. But anyways, good productive here. About to head back to the office and uh, try to implement some of these ministerial things that uh, we're working on. Oh, I was thinking. I'm, I'm keeping a record because I, I said at the beginning of the year, um, my goal, my spiritual goal, was to see 52 people saved this year. So I keep it on my cell phone. I keep a record of. Um, how many people um, that we've prayed together to receive Christ? So um, I'm still not close to Bill Brown, but I'm working on it. Oh, he, to he told me he said this isn't a competition. As I, I agree, but um, it encourages me to share the gospel more. Um, just knowing that over 200 people and a day or an hour actually in the United States die without Christ. And, and so that just makes it even the more urgent to share what we've been blessed to know and, and share it with the people around us. Mm -hmm. So where are you at? Where's, where's your, uh, where are you at on your goal? Zero. No, okay. Um, <laughs> let me bring my... And actually, if so if you were at church last night at Ebenezer, Pastor Tim and uh, Miss Lisa and Johnny, they actually went out and uh, witnessed and had a lady get saved last night. Um, right before church and uh, Bill Brown and some other folks uh, I think it was four or five on Tuesday four four four, four people got saved um, Tuesday Grant, so Grant, that's pretty awesome. Grant led one person to the Lord and then Bill had uh, I think three people at one house praying to receive Christ Amen. and I think I'm around 15 for the year so I gotta, I gotta step it up I got three months left we need to do a revival or something <laughs> Oh, y'all pray for Pastor Tim. He's still got. Yeah, it. I got. I got a lot to go. Yeah, but fifteen's uh, not bad though. It's not bad. But that's fifteen people that aren't going to hell, and that's what the important thing is. That's what's exciting. Amen. Amen. All right. So here's the lesson: the gospel does work. All right, guys. Here we are Thursday afternoon. Good day at work. Got to meet with Pastor Tim, and uh, work on some stuff, and did some studying at. Uh, coffee shop and uh, finished up well I'll probably work on it again tomorrow but worked on my sermon now me and my big boy Gavin sitting on the porch yes sir just enjoying this downtown living what you think Gavin who showed up at our house what's up, what's up? hey 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 miss Bailey hey. Oh. oh watch your step what are you boys doing just in here Hanging out. Hey. 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 Babies, babies hey. everywhere. All right, guys. So here it is. Uh, Friday morning, big deal at the Davis house today. Uh, we're actually getting paint started today, which is cool. So my buddy Emilio will be here in a bit. Uh, but also, I got a lot of things going. You guys remember, I told you I broke that window, and uh, it's being fixed. I got to pick that up today. Also, the glass for this door, uh, we're going to be picking that up today. Um, but I have this uh, mantle in my uh, dining room. This is our dining room. And so I started to take it out. I started to take the mantle out because um, I was kind of having issues with it. And like, I, I didn't know how to fix it, but it's pretty cool. I found this uh, card right here. It's to Mr. and Mrs. J.P. Hall, or Hale, which is cool. And um, it's actually a, a sympathy card for somebody who died. But it's, this is from 19, August 13th, 1948. It's got a one and a half cent stamp right there. So, pretty cool stuff. So I know this mantle has been here at least since the 40s. But I'm about to take it off and see what's going on behind there. See if I can't fix. Um, I gotta straighten it up. It's, it's leaning away from the wall and I, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just have to take it apart. So 
so pretty cool stuff going on here. Um, actually, this fell out a while back, so this is an aspirin tin, and there was actually one aspirin inside there. Here is L&M candy. This is pretty wild. So this is cigarette candy, which I think is actually against the law now. This still has cigarettes, old candy cigarettes in the box. Uh, stick them. Some old school juicy fruit. Here's a match. Pretty weird stuff. Behind another mantle in there, I actually found a letter. Um, I found, a, it, well, it was kind of a letter and a bill uh, from a dry cleaner, and it was from the 1940s as well. Find the letter here, piece of paper. I wonder if it's going to be a love note. Uh oh. So this is a love note, but it's ripped in half, so I don't know. So actually, that's pretty cool too. Just check this out. So that's the plaster behind there. Very interesting stuff. So there's my mantle. Now I gotta figure out how to remount the thing. This stuff just keeps more, gets getting more and more interesting. So I found the cigarette candy, the juicy fruit. Well, I get back here behind uh, the mantle, there's like this crack. I find this, uh, this is like an old, um, <clears throat> it's like an old catalog that came in a post cereal box. And so it says here the circus, circus puzzles. On the front of it, it's post cereal circus. This is interesting. I'd be curious how many people remember something like this, getting something like this in your cereal box. And then check this out. Here is a shotgun shell. Right here is 12 gauge shotgun shell, but it's the old school paper shell, which is interesting before they start doing plastic. This is the paint master right here. Emilio De Jefe Emilio. Emilio De Jefe. Que pasó, man? We got to paint your house. Yeah, paint special. Hey guys, so here is me and old Nasty Nate at the Winder Glass Company. We got a whole storefront right. We got a whole storefront right here. It's, it's there to stay. Two thirty, two thirty-five. Right. Got our window ready to go. Getting some painting done. Uh huh. There's the Jefe Emilio. Gonna have a nice, beautiful white ceiling. Yeah. So what we have to do? Um, these old windows are so heavy that um, they actually come, uh, they have these weights on them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let me show you this. So there's actually two of these things. You see this thing? It goes inside this hole right here. And then you loop it up around that pulley right there. You see that? And then uh, whenever you raise the window, you tie a rope to the weight and it kind of is a counterweight to offset the, the weight of this window. So I've got to, uh, I got to run a new rope. See, this one's broke. And uh, drop the weight down, tie it to the window, everything. special day because we are celebrating Clark baby Clark's second birthday what's up baby Clark he is dose y'all see that yes he's dose okay but the other reason why today's a big deal is because I think it's been a year ago I think Clark's uh, birthday party was either in the first or second vlog last year and so we've been vlogging for a year now and uh, that's pretty cool so in this past year, it's been exciting. Uh, Clark's turn two. Uh, I sold a house and bought a house and moved. That's cool. Uh, I had a baby. So like, uh, man, what a year. Happy birthday, Clark. I like your shirt, Clark. Dose. 
baby Gavin is taking us to Yesta. Look at that. Oh. This how a true pro makes guacamole. Hey kids. Children. You gotta have avocados, lime juice, onion, uh, mixed onions, lemon juice. This stuff right here, this stuff is gold. It goes on everything. And uh, mixed garlic. So that's it. You just mix it all in to taste. Mm. And for all your guacamole needs, see so you you know, we had to ask the resident Mexican to make the guacamole for us. It's gonna be good. What is it, Clark? What is it? It's a G! Oh, man! Look, he got your G, Grandma. That is cool. Caroline, look at me. Nathan. <laughs> okay, we're going to the bodega. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Right, you blow the air. Blow? Blow. Woo. Look. Okay. That's a just that one for us. Yay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Caroline, turn this way. Let me see. Look at the mask. Are you building? Look, <laughs> this, is, this is the mask, y'all. Playing pin the tail on the donkey. Y'all you know, see where Nathan got his tail. He didn't quite. He put a tail on the back of his head. Let's see where Caroline gets it. Let's see. Go. Here she comes. Go. All right. Here. You're dressed world so good. All right, Caroline. Straight. What? I think somebody can see. <laughs> <laughs> somebody can see. All right. All right, here's <laughs> mine and Gavin's turn. Are you doing Don't this? fall. Okay, you got to spin around. Nathan, move. Get out of the way with I got my eyes closed. Wait, don't make you fall. Nathan, move out of the way. Come here, Nathan. All right, somebody Nathan. point me. Caroline, point All right, go. Am I going? Go. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> He's looking for a stud. Cheater. <laughs> He's yeah. looking for a stud. <laughs> right now, throw it on the ground. Taco pinatas. Throw it again. Clark. He's like, when you guys tell me all the time not to throw it, not to throw it. Throw it, throw it, Clark. We're gonna rip it. It's too much tape. <laughs> Uh, he found a flashlight. Mark, right, use the flashlight to make the taco. This is the attention span of a two-year-old. Alright guys, so here it is Sunday morning and uh, getting ready for church. Looking forward to starting our new sermon series on relationships. Um, you should be able to check it out online if you watch the vlog from afar. Uh, it should be pretty cool, but um, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's like finally fall here. And... Uh, Sweet babies. Look at that. Oh, I like to sit on the porch and read my Bible in the mornings. So they came out to sit with me. It got Gavin in a bassinet. God is good. Woody, what'd you eat yesterday? Yesterday, I had a T bone steak. Man, where at? At my house off the green edge. Oh, boy. What's up, world traveler, Joe? <laughs> How was Montana? It was great. Beautiful. Really? Uh -huh. 